Well here we're going to look at using matrices and the graphics calculator to use matrices to solve simultaneous equations. Now this particular question here in 3.5 question 6, uh, the D part here asks you to use the um, simultaneous function. Um, however we're first of all going to do it using the RF and then there'll be a second uh, video on using the simult feature. So using the RF feature, we need to put a matrices in a matrix into the calculator. We need to do it in a particular way and then use the calculator to solve it. So the matrix in this question here, uh, we've already completed this matrix. You'll need to look through this if you're not sure how to do that. But the matrix represents the simultaneous equations here. So we have these three simultaneous equations. And so we take the minus 8a plus 4b minus 2c, the minus 8, the plus 4, the minus 2, and we write them across the top here and down the side along this row and then down the side in this column here we put the variables a, b and c. And then in this matrix here we have the answers. So what this represents then is just that equation there minus 8a plus 4b, there's minus 8a plus 4b, minus 2c equals 4. So this equation here, and there's the answer, that represents this equation here. The next one is minus 1, because it's minus 1a, minus 1, 1b, and minus 1c. Minus 1a plus b minus c. There's that and it equals minus 1 and there it is. So that row there represents this equation and this one here is a 1 and a 1 and a 1 equals a 1. They're the coefficients. So it's 1a, 1 by a, plus 1b plus 1c and that equals And that represents, and that equals one. So there's the equations represented in matrix form. How though to put it into the calculator? Well, here we need to use something that we've not introduced at all before. So the first thing we need to do is to put into the calculator a uh, a matrix. To do that, we use these square brackets just here. Oops, my calculator turned off. So we use the square brackets. So let's just input first of all this and what we do is we put in this number with a comma and then this number and a comma and this number and then a comma and then the answer. So we'll end up with a row with these four numbers in it and that's understood to be uh, associated with these variables. The calculator just understands that there'll be three variables if we put three rows in. So let's just do that now. So second function Oh, we have to put a square bracket around the whole thing. So we need for the first one to put two square brackets. Uh, and then we put the number minus 8, comma, 4, comma, minus 2. Now that's these numbers here. Now we need to put the answer, comma, 4, and then close the square bracket. Now the next one here. I need to open the square bracket and put in minus 1, comma, 1, comma, minus 1, comma, and then the answer, minus 1, and then close those square brackets. So there's our first row there, our second row here, and now we're going to put in the last row. Open the square brackets again, and this is a 1, comma, 1, comma, 1, comma, and the answer is 1. So, 1. And now we close the square brackets for that row, but you remember at the very beginning we put two square brackets, now we need to put that to, uh, to close it all together. So there we have it, we've entered three rows, and along here you can see what those rows are. Now we need to define this as a matrix using the alpha function here, and store it as a matrix, or in a particular what's called an alpha location. So to do that we press the store button and that puts that arrow there 
and then alpha and I'm just going to use A. I could use any of the letters I like but I don't think I've got anything else stored so if I use A and then enter and you'll notice this has now stored this matrix just like we said so there's the minus 8, 4, minus 2, 4, minus 8, 4, minus 2, 4 and all those rows are there. Now we're going to ask the calculator to solve this so it'll understand that this and this and this belong to the A's so it's minus 8A, minus 1A and, and just A there they are there. The B's 4, 1, 1, there they are, 4, 1, 1 and so on and then the answers here 4, minus 1, 1 there they are. So now to solve this we need to go to the maths function. Now there's the maths function here so we access that through second function maths and notice it's got matrix here so we go down to the fourth choice and across and that's what we want the uh, RF. Notice there's the simult function which we'll come to in a moment but here's the RF so we go down to that select it. Now it's asking to solve this for what? Well it's for this matrix which we've stored in location A. So that's all we need to do is put that. We need to put the A, close the bracket, so it's asking to solve whatever's in location A which we've just put this matrix there. So now if we press enter it'll give our result here and our result is this row here. All right, that a, the first one here, is equal to minus 1, that B is equal to 0, and that C is equal to um, is equal to 2. So that's our answers. A is minus 1, B is 0, C is equal to 2. And I'm going to take a copy of that, just like that, because you can do this with this software and it'll give me a nice little screenshot um, of those answers and just to be clear I can write down that A is equal to minus 1, B is equal to 0 and C is equal to minus 2 and that's how we, uh, we use the RF function to solve simultaneous equations in matrix form.